Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Joshua 13 through 15 and Luke 1 57 through 80. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The land still to be taken, Joshua 13. When Joshua had grown old, the Lord said to him, You are now very old, and there are still very large areas of land to be taken over. This is the land that remains all the regions of the Philistines and Gershwites, from the Shion River to the east of Egypt to the territory of Ekron on the north. All of it counted as Canaanites, though held by the five Philistine rulers in Gaza, Ashad, Ash- Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, the territories of the Eviites on the south, all the land of the Canaanites from Erha of the Sidonians as far as Apac and the border of the Amorites, the area of Babylon and all Lebanon to the east from Baalgad below Mount Hermon to Lebu Hermoth as far is for all the inhabitants of the mountain region from Lebanon to Mezrahbeth, Mayam. That is all the sudden years. I myself will drive them out before the Israelites. Be sure to allocate this land to Israel for an inheritance as I have instructed you, and divide it as an inheritance among the nine tribes and half of the tribes of Manash, divisions of the land east of the Jordan, the other half of Manash, and the Reubenites and the Gadites had received the inheritance that Moses had given them east of the Jordan, as he, the servant of the Lord, had assigned it to them. It extended from Aor to on the rim of the Aranon Gorge, and from the towns in the middle of the gorge, and including the whole plateau of Medeba, as far as Dibion, and all the towns of Shihon, king of the Amorites, who ruled in Heshbon, out of the border of the Ammonites. It also included Gilead, the territory of the people of Gesher and Mechica, all of Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, as far as Selica. That is the whole kingdom of Og in Bashan, who had gained, or who had reigned in Ashtaroth, and Edari. He was the last of the Rephites. Moses had defeated them and taken over their land, but the Israelites did not drive out the people of Gusher and Mecca, and so they continued to live among the Israelites to this day. But to the tribes of Levi he gave no inheritance, since the food offerings presented to the Lord, the God of Israel, are their inheritance as he promised them. This is what Moses had given to the tribes of Reuben according to its clans. The territory from Eror on the rim of the Aaronine Gorge and from the towns in the middle of the gorge and the whole plateau past Midaba to Hezbon and all its towns on the plateau, including Dibion, 
Bamoth, Biel, Beth Biel, Mion, Jehaz, Kedmoth, Methathoth, Kerathon, Zibba, Zerath, Shera, on the hill in the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pesige, and Beth Jeremoth, all the towns on the plateau, and the entire realm of Shihon, king of the Amorites, who ruled at Hezbon. Moses had defeated him and the midnight chiefs, Evi, Rehekim, Zor, Hur, and Bereba, princes allied with Shihon, who lived in that country. In addition to those slain in battle, the Israelites had put to the sword Balaam, son of Beor, who practiced divination. The boundary of the Reubenites was, was the bank of the Jordan. These towns and their villages were their inheritance of the Reubenites, according to their clans. This is what Moses had given to the tribe of Gad, according to its clans. The territory of Jazer, all the towns of Gilead, and half the Amorite country, as far as Erbor, near Barabaha, and from Hezbon to Ramath, Mesra, and Benamnomia, and from Mahanam to the territory of Debris, and in the valley Beth Harriman, Beth Neman, Sachal, and Zeham, with the rest of the realm of Shihon, king of Hezbon, the east side of the Jordan, the territory up to the end of the Sea of Galilee. Now these towns and their villages were in the inheritance of the Gadites, according to their clans. This is what Moses had given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, that is, to half the family of the descendants of Manasseh, according to its clans. The territory extending from Mahanim and including all of Bashan, the entire realm of Og, king of Bashan, all the settlements of Ajar in Bashan, sixty towns, half of Gilead and Atharoth and Eridari, the royal cities of Og in Bashan. This was for the descendants of Mechur, son of Manash, for half of the sons of Mechur, according to their clans. This is the inheritance Moses had given when he was in the plains of Moab, across the Jordan, east of Jericho. But to the tribes of Levi, Moses had given no inheritance. The Lord, the God of Israel, is their inheritance as he promised them. The vision of the land west of the Jordan. Joshua 14. Now these are the areas the Israelites received as an inheritance in the land of Canaan, which with Elzer the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the tribal clans of Israel allotted to them. Their inheritances were assigned by lot to the nine and a half tribes, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Moses had granted the two and a half tribes their inheritance east of the Jordan, but had not granted the Levites an inheritance among the rest. For Joseph's descendants, descendants had become two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. The Levites received no share of the land, but only towns to live in with pasture lands for their flocks and herds. So the Israelites divided the land just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Allotment for Caleb. Now the people of Judea approached Joshua at Gilgal 
and Caleb son of Jephunim, the Canaanite, said to him, you know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God at Kadesh, Benun, about you and me. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh, Benun, to explore the land. And I brought him back a report according to my convictions. But my fellow Israelites, who went up with me, made the hearts of the people melt in fear. I, however, followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. And so, on that day, Moses swore to me, the land on which your feet had walked will be your inheritance, and that of the children forever, because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. Now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for forty-five years, since the time he sent, or he said to Moses, while Israel moved about in the wilderness. So here I am today, eighty-five years old. I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I am just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites were there, and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord helping me, I will drive them out, just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. And so Hebron has belonged to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, ever since, because he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. Hebron used to be called Kereth Arab, after Arab, who was the greatest man among the Anakites. Then the land had rest from war. Allotment for Judea, Joshua 15. The allotment for the tribe of Judea, according to its clans, extended down to the territory of Adam, to the desert of Zen, in the extreme south. There, southern boundaries started from the bay at the southern end of the Dead Sea, crossed south of Scorpion Pass, continued on to Zin, and went over to the south of Kadesh Meir. Then it ran past Hezron up to Adar, and curved around to Kerkurah. And then it passed along to Asmon, and joined the Wadi of Egypt, ending at the Mediterranean Sea. This is their southern boundary. The eastern boundary is the Dead Sea, as far as the mouth of the Jordan. The northern boundary started from the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan, and went up to Beth Hogan, and continued north to Beth Arab, to the stones of Bohan, son of Reuben. And the boundary then went to Debrai, from the valley of Archer, and turned north to Gilgal, which faces the pass of Adamum, I'm sorry, Adamanium, south of the gorge. It continued along the waters of Ina Shemesh, and came out at Ina Rotha. Then it ran up the valley of Ben Hinnom, along the southern slopes of the Jebusite city, that is, Jerusalem. From there it climbed to the top of the hill west of the Hinnom Valley, at the northern end of the valley of Rephim. And from the hilltop, the boundary headed towards the spring of the waters of 
Nefatho and came out at the towns of Mount Eph, Mount Ephraim and went down toward Mbahala, that is, Kareth Jerem. And then he curved westward from Bahala to Mount Zaire, ran along the northern slope of Mount Jerem, that is, Keslam, and continued down to Beth Shemesh and crossed to Tena. It went to the northern slope of Ekron, turned towards Shekharon, and passed along the Mount Bahala and um, reached Jabinel. The boundary ended at the sea. The western boundary is the coastline of the Mediterranean Sea. Um, these are the boundaries around the people of Judah. Judah by their clans. In accordance with the Lord's command to him, Joshua gave to Caleb, son of Jehunara, a portion in Judea, Kareth Arba, that is Hebron. Arba was the forefather of Anak. From Hebron, Caleb drove out the three Anakites, Sheshayan, Ahaman and Telamai, the sons of Anak. And from there he marched against the people living in Debre, and from formerly called Kirath Shephan. Then Caleb said, I will give my daughter Ash Akasha in marriage to the man who attacks and captures Kirath Shepher. Othaniel, son of Kenes, Caleb's brother, took it, and so Caleb gave his daughter Ashat Aksha to him in marriage. One day, when she came to Othaniel, she urged him to ask her father for a field, and when she got off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What can I do for you? She replied, do me a special favor, since you gave, have given me land in the Negev. Give me also springs of water. And so Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Judea, according to its clans. The southernmost towns in the tribe of Judea is the Negev toward the boundary of Adam were Kabazil, Eder, Jaguar, Kena, Jamana, Adaha, Kadesh, Hezron, Ithnian, Zapha, Dalm, Belath, Hezra, Hedeka, I'm sorry, Hezra, Hedetha. Kirath Hezra, that is Hezor. Armin, I'm sorry, Amma, Shema, Molada, Hezer Gada, Hezraman, Beth Pele, Hezor Shalu, Beersheba, Besanatha, Bahala, Eim, Ezem, Elftod, Kezil, Horama, Zakaleg, Metamena, Shemeshana, Labath, Shemahmaya, Anai, and Ramon. A total of 29 towns and their villages in the western foothills. Ethel, Zahara, Ashnan, Zeh, Zana, Waha, Inganim, Tapa, Tapa, Inim, Jeremoth, Adolium, 
Saka Ezaka Sharamim Edithim and Garita or Gadarithim. Fourteen towns and their villages. Zenin, Hadasha, Migadol, or I'm sorry, Migadol Gad, Delane, Mezapha, Jackathiel, Lashnish, Bozakath, Egamon, Kapaban, Lamas, Ketelesh, Gadarath, Beth Dagon, Nemaha, and Mekadeva, sixteen towns and their villages. Lebanon, Espra, or, I'm sorry, Adath, Adra, Ashen, Ipatha, Ashenan, Nizb, Nizib, Kila, Akazib, and Mersha, nine towns and their villages. Ekron, with its surrounding settlements and villages west of Ekron, all that were in the vicinity of Ashad, together with their villages. Ashad is surround, its surrounding settlements and villages, and Gaza, its settlements and villages as far as the body of Egypt and the coastline of the Mediterranean Sea. In the hill country, Shemir, Jedidur, Saka, Benahan, Kirith, I'm sorry, Kirith Shemina, that is Dibri, Eneb, Eshetomoth, Enium, Goshen, Holon, and Gahol, eleven towns and their villages. Arab, Duma, Eshan, Gemini, Beth Topa, Abaka, Humath, Cherith Rabba, that is Hebron, I mean, sorry, Hebron, and Zior, nine towns and their villages. Maon, Caramel, Zippa, Judita, Jazrael, Jokadim, Ziona, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna, ten towns and their villages. Halama, I'm sorry, Halahula, Bethzur, Gedar, Merath, Beth and Moth, and Elikon, six towns and their villages. Cheriath Bel, that is Cheriath Cherub, and Rabba, two towns and their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arhaba, Midian, Sakahok, Nebuchadnezzar, the city of salt, and in Gidi, six towns and their villages. Judea could not dislodge the Jebusites who were living in Jerusalem, and to this day the Jebusites live there with the people of Judea. That was Joshua 13 through 15, and now we will be turning to Luke 1. 57. The birth of John the Baptist. Luke 1, 57. When it was time for Elizabeth to have her baby, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown her great mercy, and they shared her joy. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name it after his father, Zechariah, but his mother spoke up and said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, There is no one among your relatives 
who has that name. Then they made signs to his father to find out what he would like to name the child. And he asked for a writing tablet, and to everyone's astonishment, he wrote, His name is John. Immediately his mouth was opened, and he, his tongue was set free, and he began to speak, praising God. All the neighbors were filled with awe, and throughout the hill country of Judea, people were talking about all these things. Everyone who heard this wondered about it, asking, What then is this child going to be? For the Lord's hands was with him. Zachariah's Song His father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his son, servant David, as he said through his holy prophets of long ago. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of of all who hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant, the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to rescue us from the hand of our enemies, and to enable us to serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all of our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High. For you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation. <clears throat> Through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercies of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in darkness, and in shadows of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until he appeared publicly to Israel. And that was Luke 1, 57 through 80. Which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Joshua 16 through 18 and Luke 2, 1 through 24. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for your today. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.